All right. Uh, so yes, uh, thanks, Gary. Uh, hello, all. Uh, it's a happy community community call day, as uh, David says. Well, uh, today I'll be uh, demonstrating on building a power automate flow dashboard with SPFX and upgrading to SPFX version 1.20.0. This is a, a web part which displays the list of flows from different environments and perform basic operations. Uh, yeah, uh, before I jump into the uh, actual demo, let me first uh, introduce myself. I am Nishkalak Bezwar, living in Stockholm, Sweden. I work as a principal engineer, solution architect at uh, Zenit, uh, which is also a Swedish Microsoft partner. I am a uh, Microsoft MVP in M365 development SharePoint. I am also an active Microsoft 365 PNP community contributor. You can find me on LinkedIn and GitHub. Uh, the handles are given on the screen. So uh, today the agenda is uh, what does this web part do and why it is needed, how I have upgraded the sample, and finally demo and walk uh, code walkthrough. So, uh, what uh, what does uh, web part do? Uh, this web part displays the power automate uh, flows from different environments and uh, lists as a dash dashboard as shown here. That this web part has the ability to show the run history of the selected flows, uh, depending upon the state of the flow, uh, be it in stopped or suspended state, this dashboard gives an opportunity to restart the flow. So uh, why this uh, web part uh, is, uh, you know, uh, so why, why use this web part? Considering uh, admins or IT support perspective, uh, this is really very helpful are useful as uh, they can see all the flows in one place to check its statuses, uh, showing the run history for the individual flow and making basic operations like uh, restarting the flow just in a click. Having said this, most importantly, you can avoid making few extra clicks uh, to get into the Power Automate Center just to check the status of the flow. Well, yes, uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm also privileged enough uh, in creating this sample and also upgrading it to uh, the latest uh, SPFX uh, version 1.20.0. The upgrade was done during the Refresh Ranges uh, community-driven event during Hacktoberfest uh, in 2024. Uh, there are many ways to upgrade the solution to the latest uh, version, but I went uh, with uh, M365 CLI, where we just need to execute M365 SPFX project upgrade command, which generates a markdown uh, file with step-by-step uh, -step inst instructions and uh, upgrade the packages. For many solutions, the upgrade may be easy, but not for all. Uh, in such cases, the most common issues uh, can be checked uh, by checking the duplicate uh, packages. So by running npm ls and the module name uh, gives the different versions of the duplicates. Also, uh, uh, deduplicate uh, packages by running npm uh, dedupe, uh, which is an optional step. Uh, while upgrading, which is given in the uh, markdown file, but it would be wise to know it that it is quite important. So one more suggestion is to use M365 SPFX doctor to identify and fix uh, issues. So uh, now uh, the fun part uh, begins. Uh, I'll just go with the demo. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is how the flow dashboard looks like. Uh, let me edit this uh, uh, to show the web part properties. Uh, this uh, this is a multi-select uh, dropdown, uh, which lists all the environments uh, available. For me, I only have one environment listed, so and and it is selected. Those who have multiple environments, they will have possibility to. Uh, uh, to have uh, multiple uh, uh, environments listed there. But uh, since I only have one, uh, it is only one there. So it has been selected already. Uh, and then um, uh, the, the, the selected uh, environments are then sent to the web part, which then fetches all the available flows. And it's uh, 
uh, flows and its properties in the environments. I have used a Fluent UI details uh, list, which has the flow display name, author name, status, and run history as shown here. Uh, if a flow is, is stopped or suspended, uh, then on click of uh, the restart uh, flow will start the flow. Uh, flow uh, uh, again. I'll just give a refresh. I mean, now it has been restarted. Uh, uh, and then, yes, you can see then it has been restarted. Uh, we can also see uh, on click on uh, get flow run history. We can uh, uh, it shows the run history of the individual flows. Uh, it gives information such as uh, uh, run ID, start and end date, uh, end time, uh, the status and the trigger type of the flow. Uh, so uh, now I'll just uh, uh, get you through the uh, code. Uh, yes, on uh, on initializing the web part, uh, the web part makes a call to the to get all the uh, environment uh, uh, all the available environments, and this is the API which is uh, uh, used to list all the available environments, which is uh, feed it to the web part component as a property. Um, <clears throat> from the component uh, get flow details a method is called in which uh, this API uh, lists all the flows from the environment on I'm sorry uh, on rendering uh, depending upon the uh, flow state if it is stopped or suspended I am rendering a button to restart the flow which indeed uh, makes another uh, API call uh, uh, Sorry, yeah, this is the API call. <laughs> uh, uh, this API will will uh, rest, this this method will restart the uh, uh, particular uh, flow. And for uh, uh, run history, mm. uh, I'm rendering another button which uh, which is like you know get flow run history and uh, get flow run history method is called uh, which calls uh, uh, which calls this method taking environment and uh, flow ID as the parameters uh, which will fetch the individual run history of uh, the flow. So with this, uh, I complete my today's uh, demo. Uh, let me go back to my uh, presentation again. Uh, yeah. So uh, I say like, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm really very happy to be a part of this wonderful community and uh, thanks for this opportunity. Uh, one more thing, uh, don't forget about uh, Repo Rescue uh, Challenge. Uh, go ahead and check out PNP controls. Uh, happy coding and back to you, Gary. Thank you.